OCD. Obsessive compulsive disorder is an anxiety disorder characterized by recurring unwanted thoughts, known as obsessions or compulsions, which feel uncontrollable to the sufferer. For many, rituals such as hand washing are performed on a repetitive basis in the hope of counteracting these obsessive thoughts. For sufferers, performing these simple tasks provides only temporary relief, and not performing them only increases the anxiety. Left untreated, obsessive compulsive behavior can take over a person's life, and it can be a chronic, relapsing illness. Common forms of OCD include fears of contamination. When a sufferer has repetitive thoughts that they have been contaminated by germs or toxins and need to repetitively wash themselves. Fears of harming others. This is a fear of inadvertently causing an accident or hurting someone, which is brought on by an intrusive thought or even visual image of committing such an act. Fear of breaking religious rules. Many sufferers can be plagued with doubts concerning moral behaviors and develop a hypersensitivity about what is right and wrong. Unwanted and irrational thoughts or images, such as fears of becoming pregnant or fears of getting somebody pregnant, can plague many sufferers. Checking compulsions. A sufferer may return back to the car after walking some considerable distance to double check that it is locked. Hoarding. This is a compulsive need to have and to keep seemingly useless objects. In addition to these, OCD also leaves sufferers with deep feelings of guilt, especially when their condition affects those around them. Often, an irrational fear of just what might happen should they not follow their compulsion is the main driving force behind their condition too. Lies, embarrassment, secrets or shame, L-E-S-S, are frequently associated with OCD. Discussing these aspects with a competent therapist helps to reduce the associated anxiety. Drug therapy can be used to increase the levels of serotonin in the brain, and cognitive behavioral therapy can be used to expose the patient to his or her obsessive fear in order to beat it. These can both ease distress over a period of time, until the sufferer learns to control their fear and anxiety easily.